welcome back to another informative video um, today we are basically starting the, the experiment with the arugula right so Lou is basically seeding the bed right he's seeding the bed so Lou after you seed it you're going to water it after I finish seed it I have to water it mm -hmm. when I finish water it I have to leave it leave it leave it there now every hour I have to give him water. Every hour. You have to take three days for it check. For it oh for it to germinate. Yeah. Okay, three, three days. days. Yeah. Okay. Today is Saturday. Mm -hmm. Monday when you come, you find that it's starting to check. Okay, okay. If you take three days, four days you don't check, still have any problem. Okay. But exactly four days everything have to to see all the shape is Right, okay. Why am I finish? Finish? Yeah. So guys you see it was that was very fast. Very easy to see the seed see the bed. So as we said um with this we are basically going to use the 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 um the the the, the, the tank that is feeding the other um mix salads we're going to use the solution that is um in that tank now in the initial stages um for one week right and then in the second week we're basically going to cut off this channel from the from the main tank that is feeding these mix salads and then we are going to mix um a higher ppm solution um, and then hand water it like use a water and can and water the bed right so right now um, they they are getting how much 1000 ppm Louis um, when you start I start thousand right then you have to go right after one week and a half you have to go 1200. Right. So so right so so right now these are getting what? This is now 1200. 1200. So you start them at 1000. So guys um so this 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 solution that is running now Louis is 1200. When it, after one week No, one no, this is how much now? Uh, the, um, this oh, is 1000 now. 1, okay, so this is 1000 people and after one week we're going to basically um cut off this we're going to stop this from running the 1000 ppm in it um and then we're going to mix uh maybe we use that big black container over there we're going to mix um like 1200 ppm in week two right and then we're going to make like 14 maybe 14 or 1500 um ppm in the last week which is week three right so this is it um we just the, the experiment has started if i'm going to keep you posted as to what is happening sunday monday call it maybe about three days to 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 germinate right so as you can see what you are seeing those green stuff that you are seeing all these are um the seeds have germinated right and as you can see right right along right along right so so basically um kind of flooding the the bed now with um with water and re and remember this is this is uh, this is a 1000 ppm solution so it does have um salt in it it does have fertilizer in it um 1000 ppm right um so as you can see this is how it is watered but the water you might see that the water going above the the sproutings or the, 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 the arugula 
but it is not going to stay on top of it it is going to basically just run through the bed and then it, it runs out it's going to run out through here right and go back to the main tank right so so we are basically going to feed them with this solution until um, Saturday coming right because we're going to feed them one week with this solution and then at 1000 ppm and then at in the second week we're going to basically um, increase the ppm to like maybe about 1200 so what you are looking at is the arugula experiment um, that I spoke to you about so basically um, this is basically the second week of the arugula growing and um, we are seeing some issues so far so let me just put things into perspective so the first week they were getting um, what was it 1000 ppm between 900 and 1000 ppm right um, in terms of the nutrient solution uh, in the second week this second week this is the second week they're basically getting 1200 ppm right um, but uh, I want to show you something so as you can see we start having nutrient deficiency right we start having nutrient deficiency you can see the yellowing right um, so what I'm, I've, I've, I've done is I've gone ahead and I've mixed some nutrient solution here and um, I'm basically going to use this spray bottle to, 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 to miss the foliage of the plants so the misting won't significantly affect the water um, that water going back to the, the main tank so um, this here, this solution here is basically roughly about 1500 parts per million I'm going to show you, here we have the, this is the HANA HANA PHEC combo meter right so I'm going to just show you a little demonstration just to show you what the what the EC, what the PPM is, parts per million right so basically put it on put it on PPM right and put the probe inside so remember I said I want to increase the PPM to 1500 parts per million right um, so it was at it is at 1200 now um, and seeing a, we're seeing some deficiency still so I'm just waiting on this probe to settle as in the reading all right so as you can see right there it is going between <laughs> you see 93 and 94 so that goes to show you that the it's basically as kind of leveled off right there so we can safely say that ppm is roughly 1494 um so let's take that out um normally you need to wash off the probe with clean water before you put it back but i'm going to wash it off when i go back outside so let me put that there turn off the meter so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill this bottle and spray the plants now we're kind of making a big jump from we're making a big jump from 1200 to 15 but let us see what happens it is a it is an experiment nevertheless let us see if it can handle 1500 ppm at within it within its second week so we are going to miss the plants now right As you can see yeah All right so i'm giving them a good miss so guys i hope i don't burn the plants <laughs> I hope I don't burn the plants so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this, this solution in the bucket right and just keep it down here 
so that when I come here I just missed it um, yeah and if I need to in increase the ppm I'll just add some more um, fertilizer to it and remember initially I had told you that I'm going to use um, just use the same solution that they are feeding and just increase the ppm but I've decided to use 20-20-20 um, which is a foliar fertilizer um, a soluble um, fertilizer or NPK right so leafy greens we need to have good amount of nitrogen because these are mixed salads right so and 20-20-20 has in good amount of nitrogen that is why you have to be careful in, in how you're increasing the ppm but I can basically test out whatever here because it is an experiment so remember um, yeah so it's 2020 and you know the typical color um, of 2020 is blue right so um yeah so so I'm just misting the leaves now right and hope to see some changes within the next um couple of days within maybe another 48 hours or so we should start seeing some changes right so i'm just going to give these a couple of days to see how they basically change off um how the new growths look and so on so um yeah let us see if this static that i'm using will work because as you can see it is still getting the, the water from the main tank which is the main tank is basically um 1200 ppm now so it's still getting that feeding the roots but i'm just giving it a little boost um based on the deficiency that i'm seeing i'm giving giving it a little boost on um with, with the foliar application uh, to see what will happen right so keep our fingers crossed this our, our um, assessment is accurate and we are doing the right treatment so um yeah if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments area um as i said this bucket is going to be left here as as um so i and when i come here i just water so i'm going to water do the, do this um do the foliar feed like maybe about um every maybe every three days yeah something like that every three days or so yeah all right so um but then again it's, it's based off observation on how the plants are doing and um because it seems like arugula is 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 a um it takes up nutrients very rapidly as well so let us see they have gotten their first treatment of increase um ppm at 1500 so let us see how they react to it at 1500 I hope we don't see any um, burning of the leaves and so on. But anyway, um, that's it. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.